Hi, if you've joined us because you were watching my video uh, comparing penetration with the Grizzly Plus P ammo and my hand loads, um, you know what this is all about. But if you haven't, hi, I'm George, and welcome to Tales from Target Suite, where I'll share my perspective on guns and shooting, and we'll spend some time at the range, and every now and then we'll reconvene out in my shop back in Houston, or here at the farm in Louisiana, where I'll build some fun projects, and we'll share an adventure or two that'll make even a grown man smile. And in this video, we are going to compare velocities between a couple of different hand loads that I put together and the Grizzly 405 grain hard cast plus P ammunition. So just a little background. I did a video recently comparing penetration between the Lever Revolution 325 grain FTX bullet and some hand loads, some moderate 405 grain hand loads that I had put together. And the penetration for the hard cast bullets the hand loads was less than what I expected. And so we're going to look at velocities today comparing the original moderate hand loads that I built along with some near maximum hand loads that I put together. I'm going to set this one back where it belongs so I don't lose it. And the Grizzly 4570 Plus P 405 grain hard cast bullets. Now I know who's going to win but I just wanted to see how the three loads compare together in velocities. And so we've got the chronograph set up right over there. Now, I'm fixing to share with you some reload data and, and how can I, probably can't be strong enough to say that don't use this data that I'm fixing to give you. Before you load anything, consult your, hand, your uh, reloading guides, use proper workup uh, methodologies and be safe. Don't use my numbers. The only reason I'm sharing them is so that you can see the relative change in powder charges on my hand loads, and then we'll compare, then we can see how that compares with what we know is a very hot load from Grizzly. So, with that said, my original hand load had 50 grains of Varget powder. Now, that by the hand load manual that I used is a fairly moderate load. Now, what we're going to compare that against are some near maximum hand loads that I put together. And these are using, by the way, both hand loads are using the 405 grain hard cast bullet from Acme. And this near maximum load has 54 grains. And as, if I recall correctly, the manual says 55 is a maximum. But I'll tell you this, I had to compress the powder. It is a very compressed load at 54 grains. And so I'm not sure how much more powder I could safely stuff, Varget powder, I could safely stuff in this case. So, with that said, we've got the chronograph set up right over there. I'm going to load three bullets. So the first one I'm going to load is going to be the hard cast because that's the one, last one I want to shoot. So there's the, the Grizzly Plus P. Here is the 54 grain Varget load in front of the Acme 405 grain bullet. And here is a 50 grain load of Varget in front of that same 405 grain Acme bullet. Now, let's step over to the chronograph and see what we can record. Okay, as I said, I've got them loaded in order. So the, now the first shot is going to be the moderate load with 50 grains of Varget. The second shot is going to be 54 grains of Varget. And the third shot is going to be the Grizzly Plus P. So let's get shooting. Okay, that's 54 grains of Varget. A little bit more punch to the shoulder. All right, that's the Grizzly Plus P. It should be about 300 feet per second faster than the 1758.
Okay, there's the Grizzly Plus P, 2154. Just to summarize, the uh, moderate loads with, with uh, 50 grains of argot gave us a muzzle velocity of 1648. Uh, the near maximum load gave us a muzzle velocity of 1758. And it's inter interesting to note that, that an entire four grains additional powder only gave us about 110 feet per second additional velocity. And surprising to me was the plus P at 2154. And uh, the published uh, muzzle velocity data for the uh, Grizzly plus P 4570 is 2050 feet per second. And so I'm going to attribute, attribute that additional 100 feet per second to my 26 inch barrel. And I suspect that they did the, uh, the uh, testing out of a shorter barrel, 24 or 22 inch barrel. And so, uh, hey, I hope it was helpful and uh, interesting. Again, don't use, my, uh, don't use my reloading data as your own. Work up your own hand loads. And remember that every rifle is different. Even if you have another Winchester 1886, you may work up and find a different maximum load than I do. That's just the nature of reloading. Now, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And then click on that little bell, and YouTube will give you a notification every time I upload a new video. And, uh, you know, if you want to see what the parent video was for this little thing, you can click right there.